the Mac Mini M1, I love you, but you are extremely frustrating. So I keep falling in love with the Mac Mini M1 and then wanting to throw it out my damn window. And here's why. The main two reasons I got it were Final Cut Pro and Ableton Live. I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos for YouTube. And then the second primary reason I use my Mac is for Ableton Live, which is a DAW. It's a music production software. It's amazing. That's how I make all of my music. And by the way, if you want to check out my music, search for Ben Aqua on Apple Music and Spotify. So Ableton Live and Final Cut Pro, the two main apps I use on my Mac. It's been two weeks since I got the Mac Mini M1. So I want to talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff, but let's start out on a positive note. The Mac Mini M1 is absolutely the fastest Mac I have ever used. Almost everything you do on there is like instant or it takes half a second or a second. For basic stuff like surfing the internet. Do people even say that anymore? Do people surf the internet? But anyway, just like basic tasks on the Mac Mini M1 are super fast. I have no issues with that. Opening your calendar, making appointments, you know, texting people. There's a very seamless experience with Mac OS on the Mac Mini M1. So the speed is amazing and also the price is super affordable for a machine this powerful like the Mac Mini M1. I just have the base model. I have eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. I ended up paying $558, including tax, after trading in an old MacBook Pro, the 2013 one I had. I paid under $600 for an insanely powerful machine. The design is beautiful. It's just like the other Mac minis in the past. It looks basically identical. It has just the right amount of USB-C ports and USB-A ports, HDMI. It has a headphone jack, an Ethernet jack. I mean, it's just basically a really cute and tiny machine to get you started into the Mac world and even to do some very pro editing kind of stuff. Gaming is also really amazing using Apple Arcade on my Mac Mini M1. I have no problems with that. It's just so fast and snappy and it's just a pleasure to use the Mac Mini M1. Overall, so those are the quick pros of the Mac Mini M1. Now let's talk about the dark side of the Mac Mini M1. So the first issue by far, and this is something that has been widely reported on the new M1 Mac family, is the Bluetooth issues. The three new machines that Apple released recently that have the M1 chip are having these Bluetooth issues. And the Bluetooth issues are specifically, for me at least, I'm noticing some dropouts when it comes to keys, just like typing stuff on my Logitech K380, which is a brand new keyboard that I just got. When using this keyboard and then my wireless Magic Trackpad 2 on the Mac Mini M1, for the most part, it actually works really well, especially after I updated to Mac OS 11.1. However, I have noticed several hangups when I'm typing things, including one kind of weird issue that I notice here and there when I'm typing stuff and all of a sudden the keys will stop appearing on the screen. Then I'll just hear like a kind of noise coming through my speakers as if the computer seems overloaded by Bluetooth or something and it's making an audible noise that's not very nice sounding. It sounds very jarring actually. I've also been using Bluetooth with the AirPods Max that I just got a few days ago that have been amazing and they pair really nicely with the Mac Mini M1. I did a whole video about that. You can check that out in the link below. And there have been a couple kind of minor dropouts with the AirPods Max and other pairs of Bluetooth headphones that I've tried on the Mac Mini M1. But in general, most of the time the Bluetooth works okay, but it's definitely noticeably kind of crappier than my 2019 MacBook Pro, which has the Intel processor. I almost never noticed any weird Bluetooth issues with that computer. So like, why am I experiencing them so much with the Mac Mini M1? So the Bluetooth issues are kind of annoying, but here is the even bigger issue that I haven't heard almost anybody talk about and that is Final Cut Pro. And keep in mind, like I said before, Final Cut Pro is basically the number one reason why I got the Mac Mini M1 in the first place. A lot of people have made videos where they're testing out the final rendered video and how long it takes to render out and all that stuff. And I have no problems with how fast the render times have been. In fact, they've been really incredible. I rendered out a couple videos that were eight minutes long and those took like four or 
five minutes to render out, and that's with color grading, audio effects, and all kinds of stuff. It's so fast to render out. But the big issue that I've been having is with the editing process itself. In Final Cut Pro, there's something that happens with audio dropouts that is seriously driving me bonkers, almost to the point where I'm like, should I return this little thing? Because I don't know if I can deal with this anymore. So here's what happens and what I've been noticing. And if you've been noticing this too on your M1 Mac, please let me know in the comments so I know that I'm not just going bonkers here. So basically I'll be editing something, I'm dragging my trackpad around and everything seems nice and smooth. Audio seems totally fine and stuff. I'm able to scroll around really quickly, no latency, this and that. But then after about 30 seconds into Final Cut Pro, I'll be layering you know, a video on top of another clip and you know, trimming it down a little bit or something and all of a sudden the audio just drops out. And I can tell the computer is trying to do something because then the trackpad might go a little crazy. Like I'll be moving my finger around and nothing's happening on the screen. And then I have my keyboard going and I'm trying to do shortcuts and nothing's happening. So it's like there's some stalling that's leading to audio dropouts in Final Cut Pro and it's driving me freaking insane. It got so bad a couple times that I actually had to reload my entire computer. I had to restart it. Final Cut Pro even crashed several times, which Final Cut Pro almost never crashes for me. And every time the audio just completely fails in Final Cut Pro, I have to close the app and open it back up and then it's back to normal again, which isn't really the end of the world. However, when it happens about 15 seconds in, every single time I open Final Cut Pro and start editing a little bit, it gets really, really annoying. In fact, it got so annoying that it made me get my 2019 MacBook Pro out with the Intel processor, and I ended up editing my last two videos on that 2019 MacBook Pro. So then I was thinking, okay, I got this Mac Mini M1 that's amazing for everything else, and I haven't noticed almost any glitches until I open Final Cut Pro, and then all hell breaks loose, apparently. If I'm going back to my MacBook Pro from 2019 to edit videos in Final Cut Pro because it's more efficient and it doesn't completely crash all the time. What's the point of even having the Mac Mini M1 if the main reason I got it was basically Final Cut Pro and then Ableton Live as well, but mostly Final Cut Pro, like the M1 Mac Mini was supposed to be my video editing beast. On the other hand, when it comes to Ableton Live and music production for all you music producers out there, I haven't noticed almost anything weird happening with Ableton Live. Everything's been pretty smooth. I'm not witnessing any audio dropouts in Ableton Live for some reason, but in Final Cut Pro, it's dropping out like crazy. I don't know if it's a Bluetooth issue or what the deal is, but it's making me want to throw the Mac Mini M1 through my window like I am in the freaking Olympics. So anyway, those are some thoughts after two weeks using my Mac Mini M1. Let me know in the comments if you have also experienced these Bluetooth issues or the Final Cut Pro issue, or if you're having a really good time with Final Cut Pro. I'm really curious to hear what other people are experiencing with their Mac Mini M1 or the MacBook Pro MacBook Air. M1. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and I really appreciate all of you watching my videos. A huge shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the hashtag AquaFam. That's it for this video. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.